Hello and welcome back to another episode of Panda Dose Reviews. I'm Overdose Vapes and this is Panda Dose Vapes. Hi! <laughs> I changed her name for her. Um, so yeah, well, today we're looking at some e-liquid. This is uh, sent out by One Hit Wonder. You probably know them from uh, Milkman and Muffin Man and Police Man and all the other liquids that they've done over the years. This is their newest one. It's Thank called... you so much for sending it out to Travis so go. we can try it out. Absolutely, and this one's Army Man. And it's nicotine salts. Yes, um, but this is not like your normal nicotine salts where they do like 35 milligram or 50 milligram. This is 3 milligram. It just so happens that they're using true nic nicotine salts as opposed to regular nicotine. Yeah, it's weird. It is weird. I am not too excited about this one because if you all know, I do not like lime. <laughs> and this is lime. But, I, of course, I will still give it a fair review. I always do with... Even if it's lime vapes, I always do. This is the first one I've seen actually come in because I I purchased these on my own, and it they always forgot to give me no no they did give me this yeah. I think yeah they did give me these bottles they always give me but there was like I is it this is the one that's supposed to give you like a no no it's pancake man you're yep. supposed to get like a sticker yeah. and they these stopped doing that though after a while. Yeah, I was really upset about that because that's why I bought it. I wanted like the keychain and the sticker and all that, and it didn't happen. No, they stopped doing that. I really like marketing on. They always have cute marketing on their um their containers. I love how they contain like have their containers like this. I just think it's cool because you know people that like me, that if you have a shelf, you can put it up and have it like show off and stuff like that. And it's, it's going to be really neat because I never try nicotine salts and I don't like lime. So, so <laughs> this is going to be It's You know, the one thing about, about um, the one thing about One Hit Wonder is that it's, you always feel like you're getting a lot for your money, both in the terms of how much liquid that you get, but also in the fact that they give you extra unicorn bottles, they give you yes. these containers. And, um, they, they give you one or two of these. Two. Too? Yeah, I have, I've, I've nice. actually pulled up the other one already. Yeah, that is really, and I love their, their like, just their whole thing is, like, mm -hmm. they tell you in the back it's 100 mil and you get two unicorn bottles, mm -hmm. and then it says, um, I don't know what that I is. don't know why they have a it present, has a present. <laughs> I guess because of the packaging, mm -hmm. the, pre the packaging is the present, and then the flavor is key lime pie. It's key lime pie. And it's 100% hand handcrafted in Los Angeles, California. Yep, yeah, and they do say here, it says, Gunnery Sergeant Hank the Tank made his bones on, on tour, but that's not what made him a legend. That would be his key lime pie. So, um... <clears throat> and they have, like, a um, tank with three milligrams on it. It's really, really cute. We'll obviously do, like, an up-close shot of, yeah. like, uh, that... And it says it's supposed to be smooth and creamy filling with a generous dollop of whipped cream infused with a tangy and sweet key lime, all resting on a delicious vanilla graham cracker crust. So you're supposed to be getting... It actually sounds really good except the lime. It's supposed to be, yeah. Uh, if you don't like lime, well, it's lime. probably not going to be for you. Um, it's, I thought it was green. If I don't know it does green. look really green. It looks green. I don't know if it's... It's not the bottle. I, I think it's the liquid is a little bit green. They must have colored it green. I hope not. It does look green. Maybe it's just the did, label. Did you put any on your... Does yeah. it look green on the cotton? I no, love... Not at all. When people do good... Like, do marketing. Like, really good, put work into their marketing. Uh, you know me. I'm big on marketing. Because it just shows that they put, like, time into it. They didn't just make a juice and put it in a bottle and put a slap a name on it. They actually put thought into their marketing. And... I think the first thing that grabs you when you look at when you look for um, e-liquids is the marketing. If Definitely. you see like a cool bottle with like some cool, like especially like like strange fruit and all them, and uh, like these guys, they do so good with their their marketing, and it just it draws you to want to buy it. Well, when you have when you're competing with literally thousands of other products on the market. Um, you have to have something that stands out. But there's on the so shelf. many people that don't do it, and it's I know. like, and you you literally would just pass by their bottles. Yeah. Like, I just wouldn't look at it. This will catch this, your eye. Yeah. On the shelf, and it definitely. It will. is such a cute bottle. It's so cute. I can't wait until you see this. 
this bottle is just and, 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 and of course totally, they have their warnings and stuff like to be that. totally clear the liquid is not green it just looks green no but it, on, this, on, on the, the bottle it looks green i'm wondering if there's just a it's just the green it must be like a foil on the inside of the, of the label oh, like reflecting it or maybe. something maybe yeah because it's not green on the, on the cotton at all no because it's, it's yeah but it's not green it's weird it does look it is a really nice bottle too i this is a new their new this is a new bottle for them Cause well, usually, they, they, usually they usually do 180 mil yeah, bottles. They sent so a they, little bottle. Well, no, they've actually done another time. They did a 100 mil bottle for their. Um, they had a special liquid, a special flavor that came out. It was a mini muffin man, is what mm -hmm. it was called. And I think this is also a special flavor, like a limited uh, time thing. Yeah, and it's 80 20. So, and there's, it's natural and artificial flavors. It's so weird. Natural, artificial <laughs> I'm gonna do a close, a uh, little close-up shot of him so that yeah. you can see it real quick. We're back. Did you shake it? Because yeah. it says shake well. Yeah, I shook the hell out of it before we started. So yeah, um, you know the thing about uh, one hit wonder. Tronic 2.0. True Nick. True Nick. It's a type of Nicktoon that they use. I just love their bottle. I, I think it's so cute. This is something I would like to keep, you know? Yeah, definitely. You can definitely use this for other things. It's a really good bottle. It's a nice sturdy bottle. They always have really nice bottles. And it's not too hard. It's actually like where you can push it. I like um I hate the bottles where they're just so hard that you can't especially me with my hand issues, like where you can't push your juice out. I, I can't stand a bottle like that. That's right. It smells really good. It is really good. Um, the thing about One Hit Wonders, I've tried to, basically every liquid that they've had, we've done reviews on most of them, mm. and um, it's really juicy. It is. Yeah. It's actually, now this is surprising for me to say, it's actually really good. Yeah. Like, the lime is not strong. It's really light. So, yeah. It's at, for me not liking lime. It's actually something that doesn't bother me. Now, if it was if it's a stronger lime, I'd like it. But it's actually like it wouldn't be something I would go to vape because I just don't like lime. But it is a very good like e liquid. It's really light and it's very sweet. There's very little there's like no sharpness. There's very little sharpness to the flavor at all. There's no throw no hit at all. Yeah. And then you can taste like the uh, creaminess and all that, and then you get that hint of lime. Well, it's not a hint. You do hit. It's, it's a lot you of get, lime. You get lime, but it's like very, it's not tarty lime. It's very creamy. It's, yeah. it's, it's really smooth. sweet. It's really sweet. Yeah, yeah and it's sweet. Um, you get a lot of the other flavors, uh, the creaminess, the crust. You get a lot of that um, first. And the lime is just kind of like it's a, an enjoyable like a vape. Through it. Yeah. Even for me, not liking lime, like I enjoy vaping that. It's really good. It's damn good. It's probably um, one of my favorite One Hit Wonder liquids that I've ever tried. Yeah. Actually, um, One Hit Wonder in the past, I've liked a lot of their liquids for the first like, you don't like fifty the one or sixty I have. mils. I liked it when I first got it. Milkman. Yeah, milk. The milkman. I think. Yeah, the milkman. I was like addicted to it because it, um. It was my, because it's six, I got it in six milligrams nicotine, I think, six or nine. Um, six. It's six. It's, it was one of my, when I used to drink, my drink drink e-liquids because it had that high nicotine that I wanted when I was drinking. And it tasted good with, like, with beer, with alcohol and stuff. So I would always vape that when I was drinking. And, but if I wasn't drinking, I could not go near it. I was like, it was just too much. But if, I loved it. I haven't vaped it in forever, but I no, used to, that was like my vape. I always had that in my, um, my mod. I bought 180 mils of that when it first came out, and I was, I loved it for like the first 60 mils. But then it's like, the thing about One Hit Wonder is that it's, they use a lot of sweetener, and so it's very gunky on your coils, it's very hard on your cotton. I wonder um, if this is going to be like it's that. It's definitely going to be like that, yeah. All of their liquids. I've, I, every single one-hit li one, one wonder liquid I've ever tried has been It's got very tough. good clouds. Yeah. I don't, like, it's just, a, it's so smooth. God, it's, like, really good. And this is one of my favorite ones they've done so far because it doesn't taste generic. Like, some of their other flavors have tasted a little bit 
middle of the road kind of generic. Like they're, they're strawberry cream, milk man. Like too it's sugary. Just, yeah, it's just a little it's boring. Like really like sugary and stuff like that. This is actually like a really enjoyable vape. Like it's like I honestly like it. It's it's super well balanced. It's got really good flavor. Um, it's it's so not too smooth. sweet. It's very smooth. It's fun it's, to vape. The it's got smoothness nice is what is getting me. Like I just love that smoothness. Look, we put that blanket on and we came to see it. I know. We put a watermelon blanket I just got in one of my boxes, my quirky box. We put it to, to show you guys, and it's like we're both blocking it we're out. Blocking it off. It's, it's so, ours. It's so Damn soft. It. <laughs> Um, yeah, really, this is a really fun liquid yeah, to vape. I'm, like, it's, so shocked that I like it. It's really nice, and it's got a really nice, it's, dense, milky vape to it. It's the, how smooth, it's the smoothness that is making me like it. That, because it's not, like, a tarty lime. It's just a very creamy lime. And it, the, it's so smooth and so cloudy. It's, it's very pleasurable vape. It's fun to vape. It's really fun to vape. I like it yeah. a lot, yeah. And the lime, you know, here's the thing. I like lime vapes, but if it's too limey, it'll be like one of those things where I'll vape it for like a day and then I just never vape it again. Because lime is one of those flavors that's just like, can be overwhelming. This is not overwhelming. It's very easy to vape. It's very, it's very low-key lime. Super yeah. low-key lime. It's very, that's, and that's probably why I'm enjoying it. Because yeah. it's so, such a low-key lime. Low-key lime. Low-key, that's the new That's our new rap name. group. The low-key limes. Um, it's, it's fucking pretty good, man. It's, it's really good. good. And, then, and it's on a really low ohm build. I mean, we have it on, this is on, uh, this is on, uh, Fuse Clapton. Triple core Fuse Clapton. It's a single coil, but it's on still super low. On the drop, on the Able from, uh, AV. And it tastes really good. It's very enjoyable. It's good. It's not. It's a, it definitely can be an all day bait. Yes. All the way. Yes. It's easy. not overwhelming. The flavor is not overwhelming. It's Everything really is like just well. It is very well balanced. Yep. It's not. You're not getting too much lime. You're not getting not enough lime. It's just like very. It's well. It's a creamy bait. And it works so well together. All the flavors are going so well together. There's nothing clashing. There's nothing that's like fighting too against much, each other. I'm not getting too much of the like the crust. Like Graham the, crackers. The, yeah, I'm not getting a lot of that. Yeah. But it could be because I'm not a lime person, so I'm getting a lot. I'm getting the lime, but it's not like I'm getting more of the creamy lime part. Yeah, of I think it. that the, mostly what I'm getting is like this really creamy cooked down sweet lime mm -hmm. with some like what they call whipped cream i can definitely get some whipped cream yeah in there. i'm um, not getting, not i'm not getting stuff. much of the crust of no. it but you know another thing is like she said lime is one of those flavors that can definitely take over from a, yeah. from more subtle flavors and something like a graham cracker crust is going to be a much more subtle flavor it's not like um lemon tart where you get that crust yeah that's a whole different but th then flavor. again it could be like sometimes you don't get that crust with lemon lime. I mean lemon tart either. It's when you come, you stop baking it, and then you come that first couple vapes, then you get the crust. It could be like that. Like maybe mm. in the morning if you go to vape it. It's maybe like certain times of the day you get different things. I mean I get it. What yeah at certain points I have gotten it more than others. I think a lot of that is also going to depend on what build you're using, what RDA you're yeah. using. Yeah, it depends if this is a more higher build e-liquid to get that at like you know build different builds can pull out different Definitely. parts of the e-liquid so but for the build that he has i'm surprised that we're getting we're getting a, such a creamy um creamy line this is a really i mean for what this is this is like and it a, gives you a nice leftover yeah like, it's got a really good it's got a really good aftertaste not too and citrusy you get a lot of the nice. um whipped cream yes afterwards it's it's a lot of whipped cream like on afterwards. the back of your tongue yeah. like like right now i'm yeah. tasting the whipped cream, whipped cream. line yeah. flavoring and it's so de it's really delicious and this is not like i mean it's a low on bill but it's nothing crazy it's like a five wrap triple core clapped in single spaced and so it's not like a crazy build and i think that with something it's something that's like maybe like something like the nudge 22 or the 24 something that's like a little bit more compact deck or that new rda that we just got yes yeah i, I bet you probably bring out a lot more amazing it'll bring out a lot more density gotta, of that flavor we should have yeah. reviewed that one Poe. yeah but we will that's a good uh, okay so what do you think 
I give it thumbs up. Yeah, it's, up it's, all the way. it's crazy because I really think this is probably my favorite one-hit wonder liquid, and I wouldn't have it's, expected. It's very that. clean. Yeah, it, it tastes is. very clean. Yeah. It doesn't taste like too sweet. It doesn't taste like it's filled with a whole bunch of sweeteners or anything like that. Oh, it it just tastes like very creamy lime. Like it, it's it tastes. Well, I tell you what, clean. look, like look at the liquid as compared to something like the Milkman. The oh, Milkman, they're so dark. It's so dark, and it's you can, and it's just thick, like thick. Not like the VG thick, but just like it's thick, just got like, a thick, sugary. like sugary, thick. yeah. And this doesn't have that same kind of vibe, <clears throat> so this probably is a lot less of a coil killer than something like the Milkman is. Um, but still, expect this to be uh, because it probably is sweet. Rough on your coils. And anything that has any kind of like sweetness, besides like certain e liquids I've tried, most sweet e liquids do are going to be coil. Yeah. Killers, but it's already changing the cotton yeah. to a yellow. Yep. So it's already I'm, darkening it. I'm sure. guaranteeing by t by the end of tonight, before we get to bed, that cotton's probably gonna be dark. Yeah, I mean, I have a feeling. All like I said, all one hit wonder liquids have a certain level. It's of, really hard of density for flavor, companies so. that like have a good sweet, especially because it has the whipped cream and everything. Yeah. Good sweet e liquid and not gunk up your cotton. I've yeah. only seen that in very few e liquids. It's possible, but it's some flavors. You, it's, it's just, just it's gonna unavoidable. Happen. Yeah. Yeah, like my my most favorite e liquids gunk up your coils. It's just gonna happen. Um. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I think it is a panda approved. Yeah. What do you think? I, I'm, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think it's above average for one hit wonder. I think it's above average for key lime pie and I think it's the thing that I like the most about it is that it's accessible to people that just don't you know even if you don't like really lime. like lime like even if you're me, not crazy I about lime. lime and I can totally see myself vaping that yeah I think that it's going to be accessible to a lot more people than your average key lime pie e-liquid I think it's way also, more accessible I think that um I think that they probably listen to a lot of reviews and they're taking in what people are saying and they put it towards this e-liquid because this is definitely different than our other e-liquids. It doesn't taste so, like too sugary. No. It doesn't have that like like their other e-liquids had. It's totally different. It's a whole different game ball game than their other e-liquids. So I think they've been listening to reviews and they put all that into this e-liquid and hopefully, you know, I think it's still going to come up the coils. It's still going to come up the coils. Because of the sweetness. But I'll tell you what, just flavor-wise, it's a big step it, in the right direction. For even if e-liquid gunks up the coils, it doesn't mean that it's a bad e-liquid. No. The best e-liquids I've had, like premium e-liquids, they still gunk, they can gunk up your coils. It's just what they put in it. Yeah. It's They, they want to make it a little bit sweet, so that the sweet period is going to gunk up your Absolutely. coils. Absolutely. So, it's not a deal killer for me. I change my own coils. I, you know, I make my own clothes. I change my cotton all the now time, so for me it's not bad. Are they a premium e-liquid, or is it, how much are they? Well, I mean, it, de e it depends on what you consider, like, a premium e-liquid. Well, me, I can, I have different things about premiums. I think a premium e-liquid is when you receive it, it's ready to vape. That is a premium e-liquid And that, me. In that case, One Hit Wonder, I've always got it. It's always been ready to vape. How it handles your coils, your cotton. Well, mostly your coils more than the cotton. I would say it's not it's not a budget e liquid. It's not a premium e liquid. It's right there in the middle. It's right yeah. there in the middle. It's not super cheap, but you do get a good value. You get a lot of e liquid for your money. Mm -hmm. um, and you get the you you get the like the little extras and extras stuff. Extras and yeah. stuff. And I also think even if a a premium for me a premium e-liquid is even if it comes up my cotton which is going to do it can i've had um e-liquid come up my cotton but my coils were totally fine mm. and if that happened i call consider that premium to me it doesn't only matter if it gunks up your coils if it's because a lot of premium e-liquids are still going to have sweeteners on them yeah and that, at the end of the day that's what gunks up your coils it's sweet unless you so. want like a dry e-liquid you're going to have you're gonna have a I don't add sweeteners to my DIY e liquid. But, but that ends up being, for, even if you don't, it ends up being sweet. Like, after a cup. If, I let, when he makes his e liquid, I let it sit for like a couple like a month. months. Yeah, yeah. And it ends up 
because I like it when it just gets sweet. It tur ends up turning into a sweet e-liquid, yeah. and that's when I like his e-liquid. E but that's a special thing. recipe, and there's just something about that that make it's it's sweet in and of itself. Because some of those flavors, some flavors that you use already ha or have sweeteners in yeah. them. And, and VG itself also has a, a certain level of sweetness. And so that's the thing about things like One Hit Wonder is that when they have make up something like a, a strawberry milk, like the Milkman, those flavors that they're using already have sweeteners. Yeah, and then the VG. And then, they, and then the VG, and then they add sweetener. And that's like, that's it's when just it gets sweet overkill. on sweet on sweet. And that's when it can be a bit much. And I don't think yeah. they did that with this. I think they kept it to the right sweetness. It's not too sweet at all. And it's not too limey. It's just, it's, it's just really, right. It's just a really well-balanced liquid. Yeah. I'm really shocked. I did not think I was going to like it at all. I was not even excited about it. I was not even thinking. It was not even in my thoughts. Because as soon as he told me the flavor, I was like, eh. <laughs> I was really surprised at the flavor profile they chose. Because they usually play it really safe. And they do things that are like the mainstream liquids. Like the, if you think about all the liquids they've done. It's been like a yogurt and granola, which is like their, one of their more wacky flavors, but still pretty mainstream. Um, a muffin flavor, strawberry. a strawberry flavor, a donut flavor. It's things everyone's going to like. And it's like whatever is popular at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And But a lot of companies have been coming out with lime e-liquids lately. Yeah. Every time we get a lime, um, when, like when I ordered the, um, the fluff stuff, they had a yeah. lime yogurt lime yogurt and uh strange fruit and you think this is better than that than the fluffed oh yeah, yeah. and about the strange fruit one uh, that's a lot different it's a lot different. It different yeah it's a lot is different is that one more limey that's way more limey yeah, yeah. this is for some, something that this it's is just low, for, very low lime yeah it's like somebody's it's just your average vapor who doesn't have a specific taste that they're that they don't like love lime but they don't hate lime it's just if you're interested I hate at, lime and I like this if you're interested in lime this is an easy pickup because it, it's a really well done uh, key lime pie. But even if you're like just curious about it, this is a pickup because I think it's it's really well done. So, all right, so uh, we're gonna move on and we're gonna review something else now. But uh, we appreciate you guys joining us. We really appreciate One Hint Wonder for sending this out. I, I think if you don't like lime, I think you should still try this out. I think it's still worth the coin to spend to try it out because I'm telling you, I hate lime and I like to see liquid. So I think it's worth a try. Pick it up, get some, and I think you're. And I think anyone's gonna like to see liquid. And the way that it's the way that they sell it with the the unicorn bottles and stuff, uh, something you can do is to like chip in with a couple friends. I've done that in the past with One Hit Wonder when we like wanted to try something new, but we didn't want to like spend you know, whatever it costs to get the 180 mils, is so we would go in like thirds with like somebody, and then you just split it up yeah, three you ways. Can split, you can split it up, and if you don't like it, you didn't really lose that much. Yeah, and then Or and then maybe you get your to try friend it. will buy, your, your, buy yeah. your half. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. I think, because yeah. I hate lime. I hate margaritas. I hate lime. I'm not a lime. Like, people put she, lime she in my hates. food, and I'm like... Take it back. She hates lime and lemon. She's not a citrus. I'm person. more. I hate lime more than I hate lemon now. Sure. And this is really delicious. I was really surprised that she liked it. So. Yeah, it's really good. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We will see you on the next review. Until next time, keep your coils tight. Peace out. Bye. Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, what is this called? Panados reviews. Okay, that's right.